Hey guys, it's Kat the Crochet and Canuck here. I've been really busy um, over the past couple of weeks trying to finish um, Christmas presents and um, decorations for my apartment. And um, I have a bunch of things finished that I'd like to show you today. The first thing I have is I have two little crochet purses here. I made them for my nieces for Christmas. Um, they're eight and nine years old and I have a couple of uh, other little gifts I'm going to put in these purses. Uh, I got this pattern from um, I mentioned in my previous videos that I read um, the crochet mystery novels by Betty Heckman and um, each novel has uh, one or two patterns at the end of the book and um, this was in the third book I believe I forget what it was called but it was the third book either the third or fourth um, I'll put the link to the author's website down below and you can check out the books and she also has a page on there with pictures of all the finished products um, from all the patterns that are in those books. Um, I don't know if the pattern for this was written correctly because uh, when I followed the pattern it actually came out really really small, like even smaller than it looked in the pattern and I could barely get the strap even around my head let alone <laughs> around my body. So I enlarged the pattern and um, so I also had to enlarge the flower um, to go with it and I enlarged the strap. I had to enlarge the whole entire thing because it was just way too small. I don't know if it was me or if the pattern was written wrong. I don't know. So use the pattern at your own risk. <laughs> um, you can only get the pattern if you have the book though. So I can't link to the pattern down below but I can link to her website about her books. Um, and I used, uh, I don't know if you can see the shimmery uh, sparkly in the yarn. I used Red Heart Shimmer for it. So it's all nice and sparkly. And rather than sewing the flowers on, I just attached them with uh, safety pins so the girls can remove them and have a plain purse if they want or they can trade flowers or if they want different colored flowers in the future, I can make them different ones and they can easily switch them. So there's lots of options that way so I decided that would be a better way than sewing them on. So that is the first item I have. Um, the second item I have is this is for a friend of mine. This is called um, The Death of Rats. Uh, we all know the character Death in various stories. You see him depicted as um, a skeletal figure in a black hooded robe. Um, my friend reads um, fantasy novels by author Terry Pratchett and this character features in the Discworld series of books. And um, he had been asking me to make him one for a while. Um, He's kind of a little guy. This pattern was actually supposed to be for an egg cozy, apparently. This was the only crochet pattern I could find. I did find one other pattern, but it was knitting, and I'm a little more proficient with uh, crochet than knitting. I didn't want to try to attempt an amigurumi uh, knit character with only a couple of days <laughs> till Christmas. Um, so I went with this one. He's small, but he's cute. And... Um, the scythe is made from, I uh, got a wooden dowel from uh, Michael's. They had like large um, yard length ones for 49 cents. And so I bought one and I just cut a little piece off of it. And um, the blade is just a piece of cardboard and tin foil. Um, in the pattern, it called for um, styrofoam and silver paint, but I already had cardboard and tin foil on hand. So I figured I'd uh, use those and not have to spend more money on more stuff that I don't necessarily need. So that's how I did that. Oh, and the eyes are felt. I just glued them on with hot glue. Um, I can leave the pattern for this down below. It was a free pattern um, somewhere. I have the, the link in my bookmark, so I'll put it down below. There is that. Um, the next item I have is I made a crochet toque for a friend of mine. Um, she's a huge fan of our local hockey team and this is um, the colors of our local hockey team. And um, she's been wanting a hat for a while so I made her one for Christmas. Um, this pattern was interesting because normally hats are made um, in the round from the top down. Most crochet patterns that I've seen anyway. This crochet pattern required you to um, crochet in rows and just crochet a large rectangle shape and then um, whip stitch the two ends together into a tube and then weave the yarn around the top and pull it tight to make the top of the hat. And so that's what I did. Actually I didn't pull it tight enough and there was still a little hole in the top of the hat so I had to
stitch it up. <laughs> but I think I did pretty good. And I really liked this pattern because it's uh, ribbed the way it's done. It's a nice ribbed pattern and it looks kind of knitted, even though it's really not. So I really like the look of this, so I, that's why I went with that one. I'll leave the link to this pattern down below too, it's a free pattern. And that's all the gifts I have. Um, the last couple of things are decorations. Um, I have been making lots of these little stars, I haven't woven in the tails yet, but I've been making lots of these little stars and I'm going to hang them on my Christmas tree. So there's that. I still need to make a few more and finish weaving in the ends. Um, this yarn um, is actually um, a Peyton's yarn. Um, I forget what it was called. It was like Peyton's Brilliance, I think it was called. Uh, my mom found this at a thrift store a couple of years ago, and I actually recently just uh, did a search for it on Google, and apparently this yarn is discontinued now, which is a shame because it's so pretty. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's like gold and sparkly and really pretty. It's a shame they don't make it anymore. Um, so there's that. And last thing I have to show is my pièce de résistance. I made myself a yarn ball wreath. Um, this was all made entirely from um, supplies from the dollar store. Um, these shiny balls came from the thrift store. There was a box of 12 for like a dollar. <laughs> And um, the yarn was from, this is more of the Peyton's Brilliance um, yarn um, that my mom bought from that thrift store. And um, this red and green yarn was from a uh, Millen's bag that only cost like five bucks. So this whole wreath only cost me about 10 bucks to make. Um, all I did was I bought a twig wreath, um, a small, this is 13 inch diameter. And um, this is probably about an inch or two wide. It was a twig wreath and I wrapped the yarn around it and then I bought a bunch of styrofoam balls from the dollar store. Um, this The wreath also came from the dollar store. It was $1.25 at Dollar Tree and the styrofoam balls I found at Dollarama which I think is a Canadian chain so most of you might not have access to that but um, Dollar Tree also has some styrofoam balls they just didn't have as much of a variety as Dollarama. Um, so I used styrofoam balls and I hot glued one end of the yarn to the styrofoam balls and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped until the ball was completely covered and then cut it and hot glued the other end and I did that tons of times until I had enough balls to cover the whole wreath and so I just alternated balls and um, yeah that was pretty much it. Um, the wrapping of the yarn around the wreath took about an hour and um, the balls took me another couple hours to make, so this whole wreath took me um, from start to finish. I think it took me about maybe four to five hours to complete, and I love it. It's so pretty and sparkly and shiny, and then our front door has a nail in the door, so I just tied on a piece of yarn here so I can hang it to the door, and it's been on our door all week, and I love it. Um, I could have done a slightly better job. In some places you can see like the globs of hot glue, but other than that, I think I did a pretty good job. I think it was a pretty good um, first time wreath making attempt. So there's that. And that's all I have to show you guys today, and this will probably be my last video until after Christmas. Um, so I hope everybody has a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, happy whatever it is you celebrate. And I will see you guys all again soon.